It's a dream come true. I've always wanted to work with Disney since I was a little girl. My favorite film was The Little Mermaid, and I was like, that's it. I want to be part of that world one day, and I cannot believe I'm here. And Encanto, something that is so dear to my heart. I mean, all of the influences of Colombia are here, but it's it's a worldwide film that can touch the hearts of not just Latinos everywhere, and Afro-Latinos, which is really dear to my heart to see my kids represented, my family represented, and the craziness that goes on in a family environment in a film with such beauty and such magical essence. It's, it's an amazing experience. Oh my God, I'm so, so happy because it's the first time that we meet, you know, that we did this movie in a studio. We didn't really get to know each other and now we're here and it's the first time I'm going to see the movie in the big screen. So I'm super excited. Yes, it's going to be so, I think it's going to be a little emotional. Um, I was born and raised in Colombia and this movie is inspired in Colombia, so um, so it's even more special. One of the important messages for me is uh, that we really shouldn't care about what role we're supposed to play in life, and that it's okay to be ourselves. And that little thing that sometimes maybe makes us feel awkward and um, weird and different, that's what makes us special, and we should embrace that. So I hope people can enjoy the movie, have fun, and also reflect on that. Everything, you know, the music is incredible, uh, the songs, and the story. The story is very, very beautiful. It's, it's about family, it's about values, it's about love, and it's a, a, a universal message. I know this is so 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 exciting I mean to be here like this is a dream come true not only because this is a movie about my country and that is amazing that Disney is putting all the attention in a country like Colombia that have so much to tell and um, also because I'm part of it and also because my character is such a, uh, a super funny and charm and sensitive and special character and human and vulnerable that gives me like really like the most uh, the biggest happiness right now and also because all of them I mean it's the first time that I can meet them in person I have been working with them for I think two or three years and I haven't met them before and now it's like I really want to give you all so many hugs that it's like yeah and it's gonna be the first time that, that I'm gonna watch the movie so everything is exciting right now I know, I know. I, I mean, I, maybe that's why I didn't want to watch it before, because I really wanted to be like this, like in a theater with all of them and in the Hollywood Boulevard. It's crazy, isn't it? <laughs> Oh my gosh, I mean, it's incredible. It's really a dream come true. I know I keep saying that, but it's like, I mean, I've been a Disney kid. I am a Disney kid. And just to be a part of this amazing project that is just was built on so much love and passion and dedication and, you know, people wanting to tell a story right, um, you know, hiring the right people. I mean, we're all, you know, some of us have a connection to Columbia, but we are all uh, a Latinx cast. And um, it's just such a beautiful story to bring to people's homes, you know, and um, it's really based on so much truth and so much culture and so much beauty that our country really offers. I basically was asked to delve into the rhythms of Colombia and Latin America and, and give voice to the, you know, the beautiful uh, festive culture of Colombia and the score. And I worked with Jared and uh, Byron and Yvette and we just sat and we talked and we, you know, went back and forth and traded you know, ideas. I wrote a lot of things, and they'd send it and back and forth, and we came up with a, a, a score that represents, you know, the sound of Encanto, and there's um, magical realism, lots of authentic Colombian instruments like uh, marimba de chonta, tiples, bandolas, cununos, all kinds of percussion, flutes, gaitas, uh, voices. Uh, there's a Colombian choir. And we actually did a Zoom session, and we we had 12 singers from Colombia. Isa Mosquera from Carlos Vives' band. We also have Carlos Vives' accordion player. 
Camilo Peña playing as well. So uh, just Huso Almario who lives here. So many Colombian musicians are on the score as well. So it was just a huge honor. It's just an absolute dream come true. This is amazing, you know. We have made this movie all during the pandemic and so it just feels incredible to get to be here, celebrate with the whole cast, share this with the world. It's amazing. Yeah, it'll be exciting to not see it on a laptop, you know. <laughs> I've only seen it like twice not on a laptop. So this is going to be very new and like she yeah. said, to see it with the cast, we actually didn't get to be with the cast the entire time. So this is the first time all of us are in person together. It is so special, I'm going to cry a lot. I think this movie is about uh, looking closer, uh, looking with empathy, and really seeing people for who they are, and looking past our sort of masks and uh, roles, and really seeing and loving the people within, so. Yeah, I think that one thing that we all found was, I was we started looking at our own families, we don't really know our families that well, and they don't really know us. And so I think one of the real joys of this was actually getting to know our own families better. And we're hoping that when people see it, they feel the same way and want to ask those questions and learn those stories. Well, I'd say, you know, uh, on all these movies, it's, it's five years to the week that we started it. And it's really five years of learning. Um, and so early on, we took a research trip to Colombia uh, with some of our really great friends that we actually met on Zootopia. And they were actually one of the ones that were like, you, this movie really needs to be set in Colombia. And we'd heard so many wonderful stories how it's this crossroads of Latin America where it's this, you know, you get music and you get art and you get dance and you get food and you get cultures all coming together. Um, and so for us, having this group of people that we met there and then have continued to learn from over the last five years has been this unbelievable gift for us. There's no way we could have made this movie without them. And they were part, every step of the way, they were helping us. So it's, I'm, I'm very excited for them to be able to see it. We are so lucky to have Lin-Manuel Miranda, who has written eight original new songs that are just gorgeous, including my personal favorite, Dos Oruguitas, which is just a total heartbreaker. They're all just completely different styles, really character specific, and I think people are just going to be singing them for years to come. So, I mean, we were in the pandemic, we're, we're coming out of it and getting a chance to celebrate with all my cast members who I'm meeting for the first time. Because you know when you record animation movies, you record alone in the booth. And here I am meeting them for the first time and, and falling in love with all of them. They're so great, so fun, so such great, bright talent. Oh man, to see this movie, Disney's 60th animated movie. And with the latest technology on a big screen, I, I, I can't wait. And, and the music by Lynn Miranda, loud in stereo, and Carlos Vives, one of the great Colombian uh, musicians, it's, it's going to be outstanding. Oh, the message is beautiful. No matter how ordinary you think you are, and maybe you don't think you're special, you're going to find out that you are special someday. And the rest of the family will accept you, and the world will love you for who you are. Oh, it's, it's wild. I mean, the, the, the directors did a lot of great research, and so did Lynn Manuel. Miranda and Carlos Vive is one of the big Colombian stars who does Bayonato music. It's a folk music of ours. And uh, Lynn's music. I mean, I get to rap. He wrote me a rap. How lucky am I? I can't believe how lucky I am. This is my first time seeing the movie with an audience. That is very rare for the premiere to actually, this is the first time I'm meeting half our cast in person. I've only met them through Zoom windows. Um, I've coached them through their songs uh, via Zoom window. So I just hugged Veronica Falcón for the first time in my life and Adasa for the first time. Um, I just saw Auli'i who played Moana. Um, so it's very full circle for me. I'm very thrilled to be here. Um, the joy and the challenge with this one was we really wanted to bring an entire multi-generational family on screen. Um, Twelve major characters in a Disney movie. There isn't another Disney movie that does that. And, um, and it was so exciting to, to bring that complexity and make the complexity the point. Um, the complexity of our family dynamics and bring all of that to the screen and then musicalize that. Make the music the extension of these characters and their wonderful gifts. Yeah, well, I think it's it's the easiest and hardest thing to do, which is to see our family more fully. Our family are the people we know for the most amount of time in our lives, and yet for some reason, it's hard for us to change, and it's hard for us to allow for each other to change. And this is about a family that's holding on too tight, and, and have to evolve and see each other more fully. And um, beautiful things happen when that happens, and so um, I can't wait for the world to see it. I'm really excited 
that this is a real family movie about family. I hope people go with their families and, and bring them back. Um, I remember when I saw Little Mermaid for the first time, I was on a play date, uh, and I was like, I gotta bring my parents, and I gotta bring my sister. I went three times, I brought different family every time, and I, I hope that happens with Encanto. But I'm so excited because it's about, it's not about Colombia, but it's inspired in our country. Uh, and I think it's not only Colombia, I think it's all Latin people, you know, it's like we are almost the same. And uh, seeing it, this, seeing this, and, and the movie is so beautiful, so, I don't know, everything is so good, so beautiful. <laughs> I've been an actress for 50 years, and I've done almost everything. I never done something like this, and especially for Disney. I mean, never put my voice in an animated movie, of course, but Disney, I mean, that's the big one. It's like I can't believe it. I'm here, and I, I'm saying, am I here, really? <laughs> it's so nice. I'm, I'm so happy. That's, I don't know what to say, just that I'm happy, excited, proud to be here. Yeah, this is a dream come true. Uh, I was, hey, the people on the other side say, oh, Viva Colombia, yeah, if I'm from Cali. This is, this is a, a, a very Latin experience, a very Latin party. And um, for me, it's a pleasure to be here uh, sharing uh, a lot of stuff of my country that maybe you don't know, but you will. In every frame in the movie, you will find all the love that Colombia is able to bring to the world. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here. Yeah, this is amazing. Uh, because uh, it's a party, Encanto is a party about the diversity, about the color. And seeing the movie here is like... Uh, a, a finished work, you know. Uh, we are working from uh, for like a, uh, a year, maybe, maybe a year, and this is an amazing uh, opportunity to to see the work done and and all the emotion that it can be. Oh man, it, so far so good. The energy is is amazing. I can't wait to watch it in there with a room full of people in a movie theater. You know, this movie is like feels bigger than life a lot of times and uh, so to get to watch it sort of with this you know big screen and these beautiful um, you know uh, audio wise is going to be amazing too I'm, I'm super excited for it, super excited to be here um, just how just how beautiful uh, of a story I, that, that, that uh, the filmmakers were able to tell in this one um, it, it's a story about family and 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 the different colors that you see not only um, in, in the things, you know, the purple, the yellow, not only in our clothes, but also, uh, you know, on our person, the human beings that we are, the different colors that we have inside of us and on our on our skin, too. Uh, Colombians, you know, come in all different shades. A lot of Latin countries come in all different shades. And so this, to me, um, it's just a beautiful representation of, of what of what the, our, the culture is. To, to take it easy, to, to take it easy on your loved ones, uh, on your family, maybe that, that, that pressure that sometimes we feel um, to be perfect, to be great, to be a certain thing. You know, the, the thing that we have to remember is that love is at the center of all of it. So to, to, to treat everyone with that, with that foot forward, I think. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's sort of the, one of the driving forces in this movie is that cultural impact um, from, from these different places in, in Colombia. I know that they visited uh, Bogota, Cartagena, like so many different spots, and they put a little bit of spice into this movie from, from every different little place. So um, it's just beautiful to get to see it sort of come together in this beautiful, beautiful film. I can't believe this night is here. It feels very surreal and like a dream come true as a huge Disney fan. And I mean huge. It is wild to me that this is really real and that people are going to see this thing that we made. I can't believe it. Oh my gosh. I, I said this to my friends earlier. I said, I think I will relax when I hear the first big laugh, which I'm hoping comes at one of my lines. So we'll see. I'm excited for them to meet the Madrigals and all of their like magic 
magicness, you know? And I'm also excited for audiences to walk away from the film and talk about it with their families because like this is such a amazing movie to have come out at the holidays during the holiday season because that's when everyone gets to be together and a lot of us go to the movies with our families. I'm super excited for families to talk about this film and the themes of this film and how their family kind of connects with each other. It's really amazing. The music in this film is very special and deeply, deeply, deeply researched by the filmmakers. They took so much time and energy to like specifically put in sounds that are Colombian. They use so many Colombian musicians during the course of recording. There's so many of us in the cast that are Colombian. Like it feels deeply authentic. And then on top of that, you've got Lin Manuel Miranda, who is just an incredible genius talent. It's really special to me. I am, like I said, I am a huge Disney fan. I know so many of these movies backwards and forwards. I know the songs, I know the feelings, I know what it means to be a Disney heroine because I've watched them my whole life. And so to be sort of stepping into the shoes of another Disney heroine, it's really, really special. It's a long journey. You know, this movie has been in the making for about almost five years, four, four and a half years plus. And to see it up in the screen like this and see it up in the billboards is, is so incredibly rewarding. Um, our community really, uh, you know, really needs a movie like this uh, to start hopefully a trend of a narrative, you know, uh, adventures that, that hopefully really elevate who we are as a culture uh, on, on screen and, and inspires other stories to be told. And, and, uh, but beyond that, it's, it's a family that, that you're going to learn to love. And, uh, and that's what we've become. Even though we've never, we haven't been in the same room together as, until this red carpet, um, there's something very special uh, in a bond that's going to last us forever. Just like these movies that Disney create, you know, they, they live forever. And uh, to be immortalized in one of these is, is unbelievable. I don't think anyone has seen a movie this colorful, um, uh, this soulful, you know, I don't think anyone has seen an adventure uh, in a land that you uh, hopefully inspired to get to know, like Colombia. But I think the music, you know, the music is something you're going to walk on. You're going to be like, if you, if Disney couldn't top themselves enough with Frozen and Moana and all that, this is one of those where you're like, I can't stop singing this thing. And I think that's a big tribute to our, to our brother, you know, uh, Lin Manuel Miranda, who showed up and with all the love, did all the research and partnered up with all the amazing people, and and they made the most incredible creative partnerships to uh, to bring this to a different level. I heard Carlos Vivo's here. My mom is here too, and I think that I'm gonna have to tie my mom to the chair. Make sure she doesn't leave the, you know, the theater, you know, with Carlos Vives. But uh, you know, it's it's a big deal. Carlos is a hero of, of Colombia, you know, and for my mom. My mom doesn't know he's here, so um, I'm excited for her to actually be starting and introduce him to her. And, and, but yeah, it's very cool, and and for me, it's really special to have my mom on the red carpet, you know, um, in her lifetime, you know, from Colombia to see something like this on screen. It's, it's something she can take with her. Yeah, so it's, you know, the story is of Mirabelle and she's the one child who didn't get a gift. And for her, it's to try to figure out how do I then fit within this family? And I think we've all asked ourselves those questions, whether it's family or at work or your friends, how do I fit into this and what am I bringing? Um, and it's really her discovery through it that I think people are gonna just fall in love with her and also understand it's important to realize that we all have perspectives on our family, but that doesn't mean we actually know them. And so it's a chance for us to learn more about our families and for our families to learn more about us. You know, there is so much in this film and, and uh, I'm excited for people to meet the families and the different members. By, uh, Byron, Jared and Sharice have done such an amazing job of actually making each family member a unique character. And so I think people can identify with everyone. And then there's the music, which is just on a whole other level. So it's, we're super excited for people to finally see it.